ahead and stand up if you can. Okay, all you gotta do is put your hands like this for oh magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Just like that, okay? And then we get to do Hosanna. Hoo! That's the best part. Okay, you'll see. Ready? Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Hosanna, who? Blessed be the rock, ooh, ooh. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, who? Blessed be the rock, ooh, ooh. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Now we're gonna do it big style. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Hosanna, who? Blessed be the rock, who, who? Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, who? Blessed be the rock, who, who? Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Okay, now bring it in for little style. Ready? All we need is our hands. Like this. Now make an L. Ready? Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. This is unfailing love. 
Hi guys. So today is Easter, and Easter is all about candy, and there's not one piece of candy anywhere in this church. And it's frustrating. Uh, Mick? Yes. What are you doing? I'm looking for candy. It's Easter today, did you know? Ears. I, I did. And Easter is all about candy, and the Easter Bunny, and there are no bunnies, and there's no candy anywhere in this building. And I need candy. Okay, well, I did bring you a gift. Oh, cool. But you wait, this, these are special eggs. These are my special eggs. These are called resurrection eggs. And I'm gonna actually explain to you through these eggs what Easter's really about. Okay? Okay. All right, so you have to follow along and only pick the egg that I tell you to. Okay. Okay. So the very first egg I want you to pull out is the blue egg. Right There's three there. blue ones. That one. Take that one. <laughs> okay. Open it up. And what's inside? Uh, that's not candy. No. <laughs> it's not candy. No. What is it? It's a, a donkey? It is a donkey. What do you think this represents? Well, we talked about last week the, the horse, donkey, the colt. The colt? Uh, that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on. Yeah. So this donkey represents... Christ's entry into Jerusalem. Cool. Okay, the second egg I want you to pick up is the light pink one right there. Are these, is this money? Yeah, those are three coins. What okay. do you think that represents? Um, well, if this is all about Jesus coming into Jerusalem, I know that some guy named Judas sold Jesus. Yes, so these coins remind us of the 30 pieces of silver that Judas received for betraying Jesus. Is that why there's three? Yeah. Cool. Represents. <laughs> oh. All right, and then I want you to pick up light purple. Light purple. Go ahead and open it. What is that? It's, a, it's half of a cup. <laughs> it's a tiny cup, yes. It's half of a cup. This is representation of the Last Supper that Jesus had with the disciples. Okay. Okay. Next, I want you to pick up the orange egg. This one's my favorite. I like orange. Okay. I thought maybe you would like watermelon, but... There's not a watermelon one in there. There could be, but go for it. Um, these are hands. They are hands. What are they doing, though? They're high-vibing each other? They're praying hands. That makes more sense. Yes. So these praying hands are a representation of Jesus going into the garden to pray. All right, now I want you to take the green egg. That one. Um, is this a whip? This whip is reminding us of the 39 lashes that Jesus got. That's a lot. That is a lot. All right, now let's go for the light yellow one. Is this the crown? It is the crown. So this represents the crown of thorns that were placed on Jesus' head while people mocked him, calling him the king of Jews. I don't think this one would fit. No, it's a little tiny. It's a little, little. All right, the next is the bright yellow. Yeah. I like yellow too, it's sunshine. Uh, cross. Nails. Nails, oh, exactly. And what does the nails represent? Um, Jesus was nailed to the cross. Yes, his hands and his feet. So that's reminding us of the nails that were used to nail him to the cross. I think I'm getting the idea now. Yes. The next one is going to be light green, which to me doesn't really look like green. It's more like... This is blue. It, yeah, kind of is. It's a dice. It is a dice. So this dice reminds us of the Roman soldiers that gambled for Jesus' belongings. Right. And in the Old Testament, it said that was going to happen, mm -hmm. right? Cool. Yes. All right, the next color is purple. Yeah. Is this a toothpick? <laughs> no, it's a spear. That is a little spear. I mean, these are representations. The actual spear was way bigger. So this represents the spear that the Roman soldiers used to pierce Jesus' side. And it says in the Bible that when the soldiers pierced him with the spear, that water actually gushed from his wound. It talked about that in the Old Testament too, huh? Yep. All right, next egg is white. Yeah. A 
I'm not sure what this is. This is gauze. So this is representing what Jesus' body was wrapped in after they pulled him down off of the cross. Gotcha. Yes. That makes sense. So they wrapped him in gauze and then they placed him in the tomb. Cool. The next egg is pink. Yeah, right there? Yep. Okay. It's a rock. It is a rock. What do you think this represents? Um, well, I had rocks here yesterday, last week that was they were going to sing. So is this one like, I don't know, tell me. No. Okay. So after they put Jesus in the tomb, they stuck this big rock in front of the tomb to make sure that nobody would steal his body. Right. If that was round, I totally would have got it. Of course you would. And the very last stone, go ahead, or stone, very last egg. There's nothing in here. Exactly. Why? Do you know? Um, is it because after the stone was put there that Jesus was no longer in the tomb? He, on the third day, on Easter, today, Jesus left, he rose from the dead and the tomb is empty? Yes, so this empty egg reminds us of yeah. the empty tomb because Jesus has risen. That's awesome. Wow, Easter makes so much more sense now. All of these different pieces, I feel really silly that thinking it was all about the Easter bunny and candy. That's all right. But um, I still like candy. Can we still go get some? Uh, absolutely. Sweet. Um, so what we learned today, guys, is that Easter is a time of worship. It's a time of celebration. People are happy, we're excited. It's a little bit weird this year since we don't have everybody in the same building. Um, but what we do have is we have an understanding of what Easter really is and what it's really about. And it's not about candy, it's not about the Easter bunny, these ears don't mean anything. What Easter is about, it's about the resurrection of Jesus. Um, it is about the excitement that we were saved and that he did that for us and that we still get to be with him every day. He's still a part of our life every single day. And it started with this day that we are allowed to be in his presence. We are allowed to be part of his life. Yeah. So we are so excited that today is Easter. We are excited to see you guys in a few minutes outside, um, even in your cars. Make sure you wave at us. We're mm -hmm. gonna be out there. Um, and we just wanna say that we love you guys. Make sure you stay tuned with our social media. I'm going to be blasting some stuff out there. It's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to do some Bible studies. I'm going to keep reading more stories like I did on Wednesday. Um, I don't know if you guys tuned into our Instagram live, but make sure you check us out and you follow us on Instagram. Um, on I'm going to be doing that uh, more often. So it's going to be really fun. I love reading stories, and it's something for you guys to do and listen to, mm -hmm. something for me to do. Um, so stay tuned. There's going to be other stuff thrown at you. So pay attention to Facebook, to Instagram. Um, I'm going to try to be in your life a little bit every single day. So, um, I'm missing my people. I don't know about you. I'm missing everybody like crazy. Awesome. So we just want to pray with you guys real quick and then we're going to end this video so you guys can get outside and we can wave and say hi to our friends. Mm -hmm. Father, we just thank you for such an incredible story that you get to come into our lives in such a meaningful and a powerful way. God, that you um, sacrifice yourself for us on the cross so that we can be in your life with you, that you can be a part of what we are doing and we get to follow in your footsteps and lead with love and that kindness do everything that we can that is pleasing in your eyes. Father, we just thank you for this day. We are so excited that we get to have our people here. Um, even if it's not in the building, um, the sanctuary may be empty, but so is the grave. The meaning is still here. God, we just thank you for that, that we get to be a part of everybody's life. And I pray that you would just bless them and that you would continue to do a work in this ministry. And I pray that you would do a work in their homes as they're listening. We love you, we honor you, we thank you, and we are excited to celebrate you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Talk to you later, guys. <laughs>